have that connectivity, that central hub where different players from different countries, different cultures can get together and speak the same language. I was born in the States and from the age of 2 to 10 I grew up in Taiwan. I came back to Maryland. I'm a super, super nerd, geek, whatever you call it, uh, because I majored in sequential illustration at SCAD, which basically means I studied comic books and manga. So I drew characters, I drew comic strips and all that. So like Airsoft to the core is just like a way for me to LARP like my character. So I first became aware of Airsoft when I used to play a lot of Battlefield 4 on the Xbox, right? So I used to play hardcore. I used to watch a Battlefield YouTuber named Level Cap, and he used to play a lot of Airsoft. I wanted to try Milsim, I wanted to try the SpeedQB. OPS were super competitive. Uh, most of the rosters, the players, uh, they all have some kind of competitive background. Amateur bike racing, Taiwan's national youth team of trap shooting, a race car engineer, MMA competitive fighter and coach. There are different types of people that, that is attracted to this style of play that wants to get in, get in on the movement. And you know a culture is taking its own shape when, when its own unique identity is starting to evolve. Having a player-centered tournament is, is very vital for the whole Airsoft community, right? And because b 2 first began with just players and teams on the ground running it, they know what is most essential to have that player experience to, to make the tournament work. And on top of that is to have that connectivity, that central hub where different players from different countries, different cultures can get together and speak the same language. And I guess it's a sense of brotherhood to get in on the movement, to get in on the revolution because you see the change that's bringing right now. You see the things happening and to be part of that, it just means a lot to, to so many people. And for a lot of airsoft players, you know, to play on the weekends, it's just hobby and that's cool. But I know there are also players that, that want to compete, that want to test their metal, that want to run up against the best, right? I speak to be here as a central hub that creates a platform where we can do that to compete and to be seen. Because for any sports, if you wanted to grow, you need that fan base. So right now, the fans are the players, right? The one where regular people will want to watch it, right? People that don't play, they want to see, they have teams to root for, and they want to buy tickets to see it happening live. Like, that's where I see Speaker B in five years. There'll be crowds. Yeah. Please check out my 
YouTube and Instagram, that's Noobsoft, and that's Noob with two zeros, uh, OPS, Speedsoft, Instagram, and also Talent Speak could be Facebook and Instagram.